Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Splashdown! And last time we played this game, we went to Everglades in the USA, and today we're going to be racing as Sebastian Kleinman. He's going to be dressed in the, uh, the tan colors, because I don't think we ever actually use these. And then after that, I think we might go for red or yellow. I don't know if one of these colors I got just recently unlocked, because I played the game to see if I could get some stuff that I had unlocked yet that I saw while I was racing. We're going to be racing. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Uh, I don't know about that. We're going to be racing at Nile River in Egypt. This this is like the, the longest river in the world, I think. I know that fact that much. Um, the normal version, not a problem. But the hard version is one of the hardest tracks in the entire game. I think the hardest. I, we haven't gone to um, Venice yet, but that track is very interesting. There's no jumps at the, the Venice track. It's just all walls, left, right, left, right, left, right. A bunch of 90 degree corners. But uh, this one, the hard version, which we're going to get to in a bit, it's, it's something else. But, um, it looks like a, a early, misty morning, kind of. The sky is kind of foggy for the normal version. And then the hard version is at sunset. But let's get into it. Okay, here we go. I actually like the setting. Of course, I decided to do some practice for the hard version of the track. So I was, I, I didn't know what to expect as far as this lighting would go. Well, I mean, we're on normal difficulty, and it should be easier, but I'm going to go ahead and do a stunt and then not be able to finish it so that I wreck and wind up being three seconds behind as soon as the race starts. It does not help whenever you guys push the buoy so far that whenever I land, it's right in front of me, but there you go. Ugh, I don't know why I'm not being able to make some of these jumps, but yeah, this track looks completely different now. That boat was way further to the right on the hard version of the track. Ugh, the reason why I've always stuck this track is because of stuff like that, where you got to push the jet ski down just a little bit, then pop back up. Uh, this part of the track is the same in the hard version. These pillars are way out to the side, and there's some stuff that you have to hop over after you take the landing. After this corner right here on the hard version, it is freaking hell. It's actually about the same right there, except there's more to avoid with the poles. There's supposed to be a, a jump right here that... See, I'm not... I'm having problems racing here because I'm used to the hard version of the track. I didn't practice for this one, so I guess that, that makes this some bit challenging. Uh, that part didn't really change. But I used to be really bad at hopping over those pillars that are lying down, little bars on the ground. Mainly just because I'd always push it too far down, he'd come flying up in the air, like, all perpendicular? Not perpendicular. Um, vertical. That, yeah, I guess that's a word, vertical. Like, he'd be pointing the jet ski straight up. Well, that was the first lap around here, and I'm just going to focus and see if we can win this race. We shouldn't have a problem with it, because I've got this track kind of all by memory. Not much that's different with it. Coming up to the final jump, it seems that we are going to win this race by about 10 seconds. Now, it said like 19, or 19, 9.3 seconds, but I don't know if it was going to take him that long to actually get back to the line. I've had a good choice to Devon. Oh, you can speak English? Because half the time I, I select you and you say something German. I mean, he's obviously German. Arnold Schwarzenegger has the, the German accent. And I swear he's got some kind of German roots to him, though. The governor of California for however long. But we'll put on hard difficulty. And oddly enough, it doesn't change the lighting of the track and the thumbnail thing of it. But you'll definitely see what it looks like whenever we get there. I think the only thing that prevents me from... Not hating this track completely is the fact that it's at sunset whenever you do this one. But at the same time, I guess that could be distracting. I, I landed on top of Haley Hollister. Well, not Haley Hollister, but I think Raphael Martin. I think that's what his name is. I, I landed on top of him, and they just kind of lifted me off of him. Running second. And I chose him because his jet ski is uh, it's pretty damn fast. But then I couldn't make that jump. Are you kidding me? And not only that, I was going to say that I'm freaking in second to Haley over here. Okay, push it under. Oh, I wish I had made him fall off. And would you get off me? You're slowing us both down. I don't want to go to the, the left of the poles. I want to go on the right. All my opponents, uh, they're all against me. Why? Why did you have to put that underneath me? And then you crash in front of me, making me crash, and all the red guys are crashing right now. Team Team Red is dead. That If I had an episode title for Splashdown, it'd be Team Red is dead. Okay, let's try to get this, this slalom right. I don't. Well, I'm going to skip that one. We'll stall out, but stalling out is way better than crashing and losing like three seconds. Oh, I got to fill up on stunts again because we just crashed a while ago. So, we're going to just wrap ourselves up in some saran wrap. 
this part of the track is different because there was a turn right here a while ago. Now it just kind of goes straight to this little pillar lying on the ground. I call them poles, sometimes I call them pillars, but uh, we're still in second. Now, Haley crashed earlier, so I don't think that's her in the lead. I don't know who it is. I think it's one of the red guys. Maybe it's Raphael. I'm going to try to track him down. But there's one lap at the hard version of Nile River. Oh, here we come. Making a pass for the lead. Damn, our jet skis look completely different. Okay, I went under the buoy. That's cool. And I, I bounced too high right there, but I'm just doing the best I can, you know. But yes, this jet ski is faster than his. Oh, and I made him fall off. Okay, let's not worry about the slalom or anything. Let's just stall out and go. We're still going to have the lead by two seconds. I did not have to hit that, but I did. I I'm also just now noticing this. I practiced here for a good 10, 15 minutes, but I never noticed there was a rock in front of the ramp making part of the ramp useless. I had no momentum whenever I came to that jump, and now I'm back in second again, very far behind. That was kind of an exaggeration, but still, I'm far behind. Why? 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 Come on! Why? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Why me? Why me? Come on! Stupid. Just just plain stupid. I was doing so great. I can't just do great all race long. That's what I want. I swear this freaking game just does not like me. Be Whenever I come to this track, it just doesn't like me. Also, I had to reload the track because I accidentally pressed the wrong button. I'm on top of somebody again. This time it's Amon Raw. I gotta be on top of somebody. Wish I could just be on top of everything else, not on top of my opponents. These, these damn buoys are so terribly placed because I'm going full speed and I'm doing my jumps and I hit the ramp and then whenever I come in on the other side, I always just miss it completely. And I'm trying to put myself in a position where I can cause him to crash into that, but I'm always trying to do stuff like that. I'm, I'm a terrible person. Okay, JC, stop sucking. Just please, just race properly, do your stunts, fill up the meter, we'll hop over the buoy, or we'll try to hop over these. See, that, that was eloquent. That was good. That's what I want to do. I want to do everything perfect and lovely and wonderful and smooth. Oh, whoa. Hey, ow. Son of a bitch. Okay, we did it. Two seconds ahead. Do one more spade to fill up the meter a little bit more. Just turn. Come on. Got this. You don't need to do any stunts. Just hop over that little giant mound. The little giant mound. That's what I call it. Because it sure as I don't feel little. I'm so terrible. I'm terrible at some of these things that we don't usually have to do. You know, like nosing under the water then hopping over something. We don't do that enough whenever we play this game. So I I always suck at it whenever it finally comes to a track where we have to. Why? I did that so that I wouldn't lose time hitting something. Then I, I stalled out and hit something anyway. It's a way for me to cheese it. I can't cheese without getting punished by this game's crap. I'm still in the lead. Just focus and win. And game, please be nice to me. You never take this jump, and that's why. Because there's a freaking building right there in front of you whenever you do. I mean, there's little room for a mistake. It's like, oh, you can't go to this side of the ramp because then you hit the building. All kind of stuff like that, where they just put stuff in front of the ramps and then... It's like... They make you not want to take it. It's it's a lot faster whenever you don't take the ramp, but I'm just kind of showing you the last lap of the race. Once again, I am not racing anybody in this entire last lap. My jet ski's not going fast or turning. This is terrible. Well, don't jinx it, JC. Don't put yourself in a situation where you have to race somebody to win the last race and then lose. Though I think I, I kind of got myself a good thumbnail a while ago of me doing a stunt. It's all me, but still, it's a nice opportunity. Why? What is this? What is this fucking shit where the damn jet ski just jumps so freaking far that I, I lose everything? There, there you go. Go, 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 go. No way. No freaking way. This is not 4x4 Evolution where you lose everything in the last, last freaking minute of the race. Oh my goodness. We're going to lose everything. We're not going to win. We're going to finish in last place. Someone's going to pass me in the last few seconds of the track. Oh my god. Why? I hate this track. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a pharaoh. I'm a damn peasant whenever I come to Egypt. I hate this track. I actually only had the 
third best lap time in that race. Kyoko won, and she had the best lap time with a minute and 21 seconds. Mine was like almost a minute and 24, but uh, just short of that. I always land on somebody whenever I start this race. Whenever I was practicing, I never did. I don't know what changed. Amon Ra is being weird, and y'all are crashing underneath me again. At least I thought they were, and now I see all four of them, so I don't know what the hell just happened. Okay, we'll just turn. Be speedy and fast, and we'll take the lead. I'm just going to fast forward. Me doing a great job and winning this race. I can only try so hard, you you fuck ass dink game. You... I have no idea what I just said. Here we go again. I don't know what trick to do to get my meter to fill up. See, like that trick doesn't work, and I almost crashed doing it because I'm trying to fill up the damn meter. I don't know what stunt to do. Uh, handlebar handstand. Okay, there we go. That'll do it. Now, please please take the jump. You take the jump so that no, he didn't take the jump. That is like literally my only way to gain a significant amount of time is if they do that. I'm still fast in them at this part of the track whenever I go the, the long way around. Because the long way around is the fastest, actually. You know, the ramp is just to do stunts. We're faster than them right here. What? What did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve the track to treat me like that? Like, you got to be kidding me right now. Really? Really? Everything is going wrong. Again, 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 again. Everything. Everything has to go wrong whenever I come to this stupid fucking track. <sighs> okay, we went through that part of the track perfectly, and then I finished it off like shit. Great. Okay, I'm going to go slow here so I don't overshoot the jump like I always do. We're still finishing second. We're not winning this race unless this guy crashes. But for some reason, they can't just crash at the end of the race like they do at every other track in this game. I love when the leader does that, and he just doesn't do it. <sighs> of course, I can't hop over the pillar properly. Can I at least finish in second this time? As if I haven't already done that. <sighs> I'm miserable. I'm fucking miserable. Yeah, 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 you finished in second place. And then now you're pissed. It's always Kyoko. Why are you so good here? Why? 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 Why don't you just try? JC, fucking try, you idiot. All I've got to do is not wreck right here. That's all I got to do. There we go. We're good. Turn. Just go up the little broken stair thingy. Uh, some saran wrap. Yeah. What the hell was that? Why did you jump out of the water? Okay. We won. We won the race. I love this track. This is such a wonderful track. It's it's just one of the greatest in the stupid fucking game. I hate this track. Thanks for watching this episode of Splashdown. I'm sure it was a very entertaining one. It was not fun for me to record. I mean, it was at first, I guess. That first race was kind of boring. It's just trying to get through that second track. Uh, it, it was challenging. There you go, game. You're challenging. It's just your freaking track is too hard, and I suck, and I just can't be perfect. I can get it right one time, but I can't get it right every time. It's, 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 it's that difficult. Now, I watched GT Rico race here, and he did great. He did absolutely fantastic. He ran a flawless race, and... I wish I was good as GT Rico with this game. Dang it, man. That, that destroys my ego. Um, this freaking lamp making the outro look weird. Making everything look weird, but... 
At least I'm still recognizable with my Harry Potter slash Tom Riddle looking hair now. See you next time. That's that and episode over.